and a very good day to you and welcome to the program. We are recording this program in a kiwi fruit orchard, which belongs to my oldest son. So if you hear a whistling through the trees, <laughs> it's a beautiful day, it really is. I want to share with you a very special message today, and especially for those who are struggling with their faith. I really want you to listen to this message. And Jesus said to her, Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Now, if you remember the story, this poor woman had spent all her money, all of it. Some of you have done that. We've done that. And trying to find a remedy to heal her. See, she had a problem. She was bleeding con continually. It was wearing her down. She was becoming very weak. She had been to all the doctors. She had no money left. And in desperation, she heard that Jesus was coming down the road. And so she forced her way through the crowd. And she said to herself, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. See? And she pushed through the people. Now, some of us, are not trying, we're not believing Jesus, we're not doing what he's told us to do. We're sitting in the corner and we're saying, woe is me, and we are waiting to die. I want to say to you today, so stand up and take the word of God literally. Because you see, what happened was, Jesus swung around in the crowd and he said, who touched me? Now, the disciples said, Lord, People are pushing you from all angles. But Jesus knew because virtue had flowed out of his body into that woman and healed her. And then, of course, she put up her hand. It was me, Lord. And he said, daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. From that moment onwards, that issue of blood dried up from that moment. I want to say to you today, be it according to your faith. We really need to exercise our faith. Now, maybe one of you are sitting there and you're saying, you know, I really struggle to memorize Scripture. Well, I'm going to give you a beautiful Scripture to start with. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 11, verse 22. Have faith in God. Isn't that beautiful? Come on now, you can remember that. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Faith like... like potatoes <laughs> right you've maybe seen that movie our life story faith like potatoes now i can't take credit for that title i got that title from a man by the name of peter marshall peter marshall was a scotsman he was a printer by trade and he went over to america and he became a minister of the gospel, and he ended up as the personal chaplain to the United States government, the Senate. And he said, you must have faith, faith that you can touch, real faith, faith that you can, you can taste, faith like potatoes. I want to say to you, you need to exercise your faith. Okay? You like the old lady driving down the road on a busy shopping day, Oh, Jesus, please find me a parking place. And there comes the car reversing out of the parking place. Thank you, Jesus. And you're sitting there and you're saying to me, Angus, that's just a coincidence. No, it's not. That's an old lady putting her faith into action. Now, like the woman with the issue of blood today, go out and exercise your faith and believe God. Okay, you'll find that in Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's how you get faith and then exercise it. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.